you might find this a bit unsettling. This is a gizzard shad, or kohada. The internal organs have been removed from the body of the gizzard shad like this. In most videos, the muscle part of the body is used. Here, however, we are focusing mainly on the internal organs. Did you know that the internal organs of the gizzard shad conceal a very unusual organ? Today, we will dissect the gizzard shad. The gizzard shad is a fish known by different names at different stages of growth, with its name changing as it grows. It belongs to the order Clupeiformes and resembles herring and horse mackerel, but it can easily be distinguished by the spot on the side of its face and shape of its dorsal fin. The shape of the dorsal fin is a simple way to differentiate gizzard shad from herring and horse mackerel. If you pull on the dorsal fin, the gizzard shad is characterized by its long, soft rayed dorsal fin. These extended rays help the gizzard shad maintain balance and swim efficiently. The gizzard shad's mouth forms an inverted V shape. This trait is common in smaller fish species and aids the gizzard shad in capturing small prey floating in the water. Interesting, isn't it? By the way, the gizzard shad has an unusual organ within its internal organs that isn't found in other fish. I will now dissect the gizzard shad and show you exactly what it is. If you turn it over, here is the anus, and the internal organs are situated between the anus and the gills. So if you cut from the anus to the gills and open it up, you can then see the internal organs. Removing the lateral muscles makes them easier to observe. Firstly, if you look at the upper part here, you can see a pouch inflated like a balloon. This is the swim bladder responsible for regulating buoyancy in the water. The lower part contains the digestive organs, which can be cleanly removed by pulling. Notice here, this slightly whitish part is a very rare organ of the gizzard shad. If we remove just this part, you will see a pea-sized organ like this. This is the gizzard, and its English name, gizzard shad, means sandbag herring. The gizzard shad is so named because its stomach resembles the gizzard found in the digestive system of birds. The gizzard is composed of thick muscles that help the bird mechanically break down food into smaller pieces. Some birds ingest sand and stones to help grind their hard food into smaller pieces, and these can actually be found in their gizzards. We cut open the gizzard shad's gizzard to see if it contained sand, but it did not. Unlike the stomachs of other fish, which digest food enzymatically, the gizzard shad's stomach is muscular and mechanically crushes the food, making it easier to digest tough food. Curious, wow. isn't it? The rest of the digestive organs have a complex and intertwined shape. If you are interested in the detailed anatomy of bony fishes, please also check out our videos on sardine anatomy. And if you cut the muscles of a gizzard shad with its internal organs removed, you can view the longitudinal section of the body as shown here. Lastly, I have heard that the population of gizzard shad has been rapidly decreasing, and their taste is not as good as it used to be. This is due to changes in their spawning season and habitat, caused by the rise of sea temperature from global warming in recent years. This decrease in catch and deterioration in quality is evident not only in gizzard shad, but also in various other marine products. Global warming will continue to affect the food we consume. Therefore, we should pay more attention to environmental issues to enjoy our favorite foods for a long time. This concludes this video. This was Fishy Science, where science unveils the mysterious.